All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and well, today we're talking about, well, some bad news for the Unraid community, in my opinion. We're gonna talk about upcoming changes to Unraid's pricing. There's been lots of videos made about VMware and their change to a subscription type model. Unfortunately, Unraid is going the same way. They had to admit it because the code was found in the recent Unraid build by people out in the community. Quick note, if you're a current Unraid license holder, you are grandfathered in, meaning you will continue to get updates, all the new features, all of that stuff, and there will be no subscription per their blog post. We know how that goes sometimes. I will link this blog post in the comments of this video, but let's talk about the new pricing model. Starter supports up to four attached storage devices. This will be at a lower price than today's basic key. So if you only need four hard drives, it'll be cheaper, which, you know, but we'll get into the but. Unleashed level supports an unlimited number of devices. This will be offered at the same price as today's plus key and lifetime, essentially the same as a pro key at a higher price point. Now these will function similar to the current basic plus and pro license with the main difference being that the starter and unleashed license will come with one year of software updates. Meaning after a year, if you wanna update, to get new features or bug fixes or whatever, you're gonna have to pay. Now, please note, the software will not stop working. You just don't get updates. Uh, after that, customers will be able to pay an optional extension fee subscription, which makes them eligible for another year of updates. If you choose not to review, no problem. Again, this change does not apply to any current license holders will still be able to access all updates for life as promised. Now this is problematic in a number of different ways. You have all these companies going to a subscription model because well, money, let's be honest. Uh, VMware is doing it to get rid of the lower end customers and just focus on, well, gouging their higher end customers, let's be honest. And I think this is a mistake on Unraid. I mean, going forward for me, the advantages of Unraid are kind of outweighed by, well, having to pay to update. You know, oh, I, I, I want this cool new feature. I got to pay? Because let's look at their main competition <laughs> is a do-it-yourselfer uh, version of, you know, like Debian and ZFS, build-it-yourself kind of thing. Not really build-it-yourself. Or TrueNAS Scale or TrueNAS Core free with updates. Let's be honest. Unraid already had the problem of a subscription key. You know, the, the, the home lab world is really focused on open source free stuff. <laughs> it is what it is. But Unraid had a lot of good features that it was a good starting point, And that's why I kind of recommend it. Now let's compare the new lifetime key to the pro key. $129 is the current pricing for the old system. Lifetime is essentially the same as a pro key at a higher price point. So if you want lifetime, pay more. Going forward, that's gonna be a hard pill for a lot of people to swallow, to spend more than, you know, 130 bucks for a lifetime key for something that you may only deploy for a couple of years before you move on to something else. I love my Unraid server, but there's limits to it. And charging for something that you can get for free somewhere else that overall for everything that's out there is a better product, TrueNAS core scale, it's going to be a hard pill for a lot of people in the community to. to you know, support. So we're going to have to just wait and see how this goes. So thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.